Hi, Superstars. Welcome to week one. How exciting. I know that you may have been looking through some of the units above your week one. So we've gone through the different health types, some cool little guides you can send to friends and family, um, some information about pH 360, some contrasting information about food and fitness, seeing how the opposing health type lives in comparison to you and hopefully gaining a little bit of um, appreciation for the gift of the body that you've been given. Um, now, I want you to remember throughout this entire process, the reason why it's written this way, and I, you've already heard me describe it above, but I will quickly remind you, is that it is for you to do bit by bit, eating the elephant one mouthful at a time. If this takes you six weeks, 12 weeks, eight weeks, whatever it is to get this done, know that I've created it this way because I wanted you to have the opportunity to not be too stressed out by it. If you want to steam ahead, go for it. If you want to just plot along and things get in the way and, and, and life gets overwhelming, know that I've created space for that um, because I want you to succeed. If at any point anything comes up where you feel like you're having a, a shit fit and you'll you want to quit or it's too much, reach out to me. Those are the times in which you need to use me. And you also need to utilize the weekly calls as these are the option for you to be able to um, bring things that are coming up, whether it's your other family members, whether it's um, food timings, whether it's fitness timings, whether it's whatever it is that comes up for you. The coaching calls each week is where you bring it all up. But each of these units, each of these modules is for you to break through it like eating the elephant one mouthful at a time, do each week's priorities. Some weeks have got a fair bit of um, projects in there. You don't have to do all of them. They're not all mandatory, but I guarantee you when you do them, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna understand more. And this practice that we're about to go into for your week one project, is gonna be expensive. And I think you're gonna love it, or you may be a bit triggered, but you know that I'm good at that. And I love you for whatever your triggers are. Um, I do not judge at all. And I, I totally understand it. So we're going to get into a quick slideshow. Um, and this one's called Reset Your Mindset. It's been incredibly beneficial for so many of my clients in the past. I have revamped it. Um, let's see if I can get this to work correctly. Let's see. Okay. So week one, reset your mindset. I hope that's coming up in clear mode for you. And I'm hoping you can't see my notes because Shana can't remember everything, but forgive me if I have. So week one, reset your mindset. Uh, whew. So um, is this the best results you're going to get? Like we're looking at results here. We're looking at how are we going to assist you in... Oh, this works better. I'll move that over there. Okay. In six months, what is the result you would love to have? What would you love to see shifted or changed in your life? Is there a behavior that you wouldn't love to improve with your health, with your life, but you just haven't taken action yet? Knowing your why will assist you in understanding the decisions you make. Humans normally make decisions based on how that decision will make us feel in the next 30 seconds. We're kind of like goldfish. In the next 30 seconds, how am I going to feel? Well, we choose a short-term pleasure resulting in long-term pain, sadly, instead of short-term pain for long-term pleasure. And throughout this process, I hope you'll be able to see some of those aspects of yourself that maybe have not really been serving you as well as they should have. Let me see if I can get this bigger. That's better. Okay. Uh, next. So what are your reasons for aiming for these goals? In your eyes, what are the main benefits associated with achieving them? Now, don't freak out. If you're not able to write this down right now, please know that above this um, recording or in the description of this recording, you will see I've actually taken these questions and I've laid them out for you in the description of this unit. So you can copy and paste them too if you wish. So what are your main um, reasons for aiming for these goals? In your eyes, what's the main benefit associated with achieving them? Is it happiness? Is it family? It's an interesting, this is, this is another interesting way of understanding each other also, is the different health types will be motivated by different reasons. So our senses to be, it would be to be on point and to know that I'm on the right track for what's important to me. This is like, this is like the, um, uh, the white collar version. This is without the, the happiness, the love, the family. This is the underlying reason why these health types do the thing. So the Crusaders is the mission. The activators, it's to experience and do more. The connectors, it is to feel great, have fun and feel connected. 
guardians is to nurture, provide security and protection. Diplomats, yes, indeed, I want comfort while staying committed to what's important, which can be such a contradiction at times. Sorry, a little more bias towards diplomats, but there are various reasons why someone would like to make positive changes in their life or their health. Sometimes it's something within yourself. So it might be confidence, happiness, energy, strength, something greater than yourself, which might be an example to your children, more energy for your partner, more ability to show up and sexually connect with your partner, um, to contribute to the world in a better way. What is the feeling that is created for you? What is it that you really want to achieve? Humans normally make decisions based on how they will feel in the next 30 seconds. So let's look at aiming more towards the short-term pains for the long-term gains. So short-term pleasure for the long-term pain, quite often the reason we have someone in front of us who is in poor health as a coach is because they have made repeated decisions to go towards 30 seconds of pleasure, like eating the cake watching the next flicks instead of training, and has resulted in a long-term pain of poor health, low confidence, shame, stamina, lack of stamina, and all those sorts of things. When creating new behaviors, it's necessary, uh, the necessary decisions to go towards good health can be perceived as pain. It really can. For example, like going to the gym or preparing healthy foods can seem rather mundane or excessive or you don't have the time or the energy or you just don't want to do it. It's important that we, I assist you as my clients in, try, in transforming these perceptions. That's my goal here, to help you transform these perceptions. Your short-term pain for long-term gain can quite often be the discomfort felt in making the decision to go towards the pain only exists for the point of making the decision, right? Then we're into the next 30 seconds, it's gone. Pain is only something we remember from our past, not what's experienced in our future. Pleasure is felt after making the decision when the discomfort goes away. For example, feeling energized or less bloated, the discomfort of making these decisions allows us to know we are on the right path. Eating the cake versus eating a healthy um, salad for a diplomat or a nice healthy smoothie for a connector. These are the decisions that we need to be looking towards making that are so much more beneficial after the long term, after the short term gain. Losing my mouse here. Okay, so if you achieve that in the next six months, how would you feel? What decisions did you make? Was it like going to bed, exercising more? My aim is for you to make the short-term decisions with long-term gain in mind and be aware of the decisions you are making before, during, and after your actions. You make all of these choices, right? It's important for you to take responsibility for your choices. You make uh, the choices you make above making excuses. And to help you to understand, you also have the choice on how you respond in these situations. In six months, you'll make approximately 556 decisions about what you will eat, 182 decisions of what you will train that day or whether you will train that day. And every one of these choices can take you towards good health or away from good health. That is your decision. If you don't achieve that in the next six months, how would you feel? What decisions did you make? As in, you, got it, you feel impatient, you feel tired, you feel moody, which then lead you to be in a guilt state. So you then led towards eating the whole cake, not just a slice. You decided to eat the whole damn thing. What has stopped you from eating healthy and taking action in the past? Who in your life would be an accountability person? Like who would you be reporting to about good and bad things? Who, does, who matters in your life to be giving them this kind of feedback? How does it feel to tell that kind of person you did not honour yourself and your goals? Would you say to your loved one or a workmate, I went to Macca's today and made a bad choice that will impact my future health? Or would you prefer to say, today I chose to make a healthy stir fry for dinner. Sorry. Today I chose to make a healthy stir fry for dinner because I choose to be the best person I can be here at home and at work and for my future health. Which one feels a bit better, right? Let's put it into context. Why do we wear clothes, guys? Why do we wear them? Because it's important enough. Because you make time to put clothes on every morning when you get up. So why don't we nourish ourselves and exercise ourselves consistently? 
as much as we cover up with clothes every day? Well, we don't think it's important enough. We identify, um, when we identify our why, on why you would like to achieve a certain outcomes, it's paramount to achieve positive results. And performing this reset your mindset process will assist you in attaching value and emotion towards achieving the positive outcome. That's exactly why we're here. So my friends, my awesome, awesome people, what actions are you going to start with? Let's create the plan. Let's create the actions, the to-dos, the reminders, the thing that needs to go on the fridge, or maybe it needs to go on the cupboard door, whatever it is. This whole sheet, this whole questions and answers could be utilized in many different ways to create accountability and reminders. What actions are you starting with? What's the plan? How are we going to achieve these things? Changes do take effort and discipline, and people often tend to fall short on how to implement the necessary changes to achieve a positive result. The reason people will not give for, sorry, the, the reason people will give for not making a decision for positive changes will be that they don't have enough time, enough money, or enough motivation. The main factors that influence your decisions to make positive changes will always be related to how important it is to you, your priorities, your values, and do you value the positive outcome enough? Please know there is never any wrong actions. Simply becoming aware of the choices made and the environmental factors that added to this decision going to come off of share screen now. Stop sharing. Hey, hey. So this week, I would love you to go through those questions first and foremost. If you haven't yet done it, uh, do not fret. Like I said, you've got the questions stated above. You could have been jotting down while I was talking. Good luck to you. Um, but I also wanted to mention that in this post, you will see below the dotted line that I have um, included I'm looking at three screens here. You guys would be impressed at the setup that I have here now. So included in this post is um, keeping accountable, keeping a, a record of how you feel. It's so easy to go along and be like, oh, it was fine. But then you realize like I'm on a detox right now and I, was, I could be like, nah, it's fine. I'm a bit hungry. But if I actually look at it, I haven't suffered with stomach bloat for three days. I'm sleeping restlessly at the moment because I'm processing a lot of stuff, but I also can sense that I'm actually sweating a heap. I'm detoxing incredibly powerfully at the moment, guys. I'll be honest with you. I know that there's some stuff wrong with my body at the moment, and it's very, very paramount right now that I do this detox. And my body is showing me daily how important this detox is for my body right now. So me keeping a record of what I'm feeling each and every day has been incredible to show me. My brain... As much as I have a lot of stress going on at the moment, which is what human doesn't, um, I'm actually really clear. I'm actually not weighed down. I'm not being reactive and running to the kitchen and getting food to avoid doing the work. So when I can look at the, the amount that I'm keeping track of my day-to-day, -day, my thoughts, my memory, my sleeping, my digestion, how I'm feeling, it's actually showing to me that I'm actually rocking the detox. I'm actually rocking life right now. But if I didn't have that awareness, I'd be like, yeah, it's okay. I've got a lot going on. I'm not doing so well, right? It's very easy to fall into that whole lack mentality, that lack mindset and focus on the things that aren't working so well, rather than sitting there and going, dude, I'm drinking my four liters of water a day. I'm eating my salad. I'm doing the detox. I'm rocking it. Like focus on that more. That drives you and motivates you better than any kind of guilt or shame. So in that, I have put down, um, I would like you to keep that record and use it when we do our one-on-one -on -one session together um, so that we can check back through and be like, hey, look at this. Like you're, you might sit there and be like, I ate the whole peg today. Ah. And then we'll get into a coaching session and you'll be like, I'm sucked. I sucked. I failed. I've, I've ruined it all. I've not been doing well at all. And we'll check back through your checklist and you'll be like, oh, actually, I'm eating the right foods. Actually, I'm having some pretty big wins. Oh, okay, I just had one bad day that I then met, allowed that to mean that I'm failing not just that I made a couple bad 30 second decisions, right? Um, so I do have a cool little um, weekly check-in sheet. You can click the link on the post and download that one and start filling it out. If you hate that idea, that's cool. Keep a diary, keep a poster, keep a, a calendar. I don't mind how you do it. I've just created a resource. Do with it what you will. Um, and I'd love to see what you create. Feel free to share because potentially you'll be motivating others to do better, more, be more involved, whatever it might be. Peace out. Uh, make sure you jump through the rest of the units 
in that section. Um, so you will see the tweaklies there. That's where I'd love to see your one to three accountability goals. Um, you will see each health type's week one priorities with your sheets. Uh, and you will also see, what else have I got here? Ah, the intrusion and awareness meditation. Please don't take this to be a bad thing, but it's mind blowing this event, this um, training, because quite often we're like, yeah, I'm fine, my environment's great. I live a great home, but it's our, our ego will quite often be attached to things that we're not aware of. So in that meditation, you actually potentially see things come up where you're like, oh, actually that part of my house doesn't feel so great. Maybe that needs to be on my list for this weekend. It'll bring to light some of the things that you feel shame or guilt around. And I really would like to work on helping you elevate and release all of that so that you can have a great environment to be at home in, or maybe it's at work. Maybe you could use your mind to envision that same process at work as well. Love and light. Can't wait to hear your feedback. Make sure you're commenting stuff below or your feedback in each of the modules. I can see all of it. Make sure you click done. Have a great week. Reach out to me with any thoughts or processes that come up at all. Love you guys. Gotta find my button. <laughs>